and Auto Worldly here. Giddy up because today I'm going to be giving you an exclusive first look at the VR saddle. The VR saddle is a VR accessory that helps VR users to be able to use their limited play space to the full while helping them feel more secure while playing. One of the biggest issues those of us who play VR in smaller spaces face is running into things, smashing the controllers into the walls. But thanks to this Kickstarter project started by Tony Boker, we may now have a solution for that, as well as a more affordable alternative to a VR treadmill. Now you will have to screw this into your ceiling, which can be a bit difficult if you are doing it by yourself like I did. So you will need a stud finder. One of the issues I ran into is that the stud finder went off in a place where there was not a stud. There are some holes in the ceiling I'm gonna have to fill, so... What a hole! Once I got it set up correctly, it did feel sturdy, and I felt like I could safely hold my weight. One of the first things I tried was Beat Saber 360 with it, and that was quite fun. Unfortunately, with the VR saddle, it is a bit hard to duck, so if you have to play any game where you have to physically duck, you're gonna have a bit of a hard time. However, I still found Beat Saber to be very enjoyable to play on the saddle. I've also found that while playing games where I walk around a lot in it, like Rec Room or something like that, I don't run into the walls as much or slam the controller. It keeps me within my little space, so that's good. Now one of the unique uses I discovered for the VR saddle is you can use it to make yourself look like you're flying on a broom. So I just realized, if I put my green screen up, I can make it look like I'm flying on a broom. Can you imagine? So, turns out, flying out of broomstick, not as much fun as you think. Very painful. But for those of you with cyber shoes, there's gonna be a whole lot more that you can do with this. Though I can't personally say because I don't have cyber shoes, but uh, cyber shoe, you wanna send me, send me a pair, I'll be happy to do a review for you. And try them out with the VR saddle. All right, so now I just wanna talk about like the main pros, the main cons, so, pros. It is a cheap alternative to the more pricey options like a VR treadmill. The next is that it is very easy to take down and stow away, doesn't take up too much closet space. So that's very convenient to be able to just put it away, not have it take up too much space. The next pro is that it is super fun and there's just a lot of fun stuff you can do with it. I did find it to be rather comfortable, so that was nice. Um, your mileage may vary, but for me I found it very comfortable, so that's important and good. Cons. It's a bit challenging to set up, especially if you're doing it by yourself. Um, if you get someone to help you, if you have a professional who can do it, you'll have a much better time. The next con is that adjusting the height can be a bit of a pain. It's simple enough, but it can be a bit annoying to get it to just the right height. So yeah, if you're interested in this, you can go on the Kickstarter page right now. But if you just want to back it, if you believe in this product, you can just donate a dollar, five dollars, whatever you want. We always want to be supporting these VR innovators, so yeah. Those are my thoughts on the matter. If you have any further questions, you can ask them on the Kickstarter page. You can comment below as well. I'll see if I have the answer for you. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video informative. That's about it. Otterworldly. <laughs> I hit the mic.